Hello students, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to do the XRD data analysis using MDI JADE software. This is the part 1 of this video. Here I am going to show how to do the profile fitting of XRD data. It means the calculation of peak position, peak FWHM, peak area, peak height peak shape all these parameters and using these parameters we are going to understand the size and strength plot okay that is the aim of this video so let me do the analysis here so here i have mdi z software so they click this option so this is page identification software so here this is the previous data so i'll import my data so go to the pattern and here my data is in the desktop so yeah this is the bo4 this is a best mode for right sample so yes the data is imported what i'm going to do now is that y axis you can see that there are two levels so first uh, layer is basically square root there, this is the intensity counts so uh, i am going to analyze then find peaks okay so here you can see there is search button labeling button is there i am going to use peak location by centroid and this is labeling i am going to use 2 theta so let me uh, apply this right so as soon as you apply you can see that all the peaks are appearing with the value of 2 theta so let me select one so you can see that these peaks are there so if the peak is not there what you can do you can select it here and you can add by yourself right so here also one peak i think it is there so uh, let me do that again yeah so here i need to add a peak so this is fine then this is fine uh, this is fine 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 so all the pics have been identified so let me see the report so this is the report here first column we have two theta then second the d spacing height background intensity area above if we want to copy this data you can simply copy it and paste it uh, in you know in notepad or you can directly save it save the button so you close it close it now now let's fit each and every pick so you can see this is the, my first pick so what i'm going to do analyze then fit profile right so as soon as i do that a simulated pattern is coming so we need to refine this pattern to approach to the experimental data so here i'm using pseudovoid function and um, uh, yeah so uh, here all this um, displays options are there you can choose anything you like so difference pattern is the red one this is the xrd data this is the uh, pseudovoid function okay this uh, color profile so let me refine so as soon as you refine you can see that the data is fitted okay with all the asymmetry parameter fws all the data so one i'll just show one for beginning so report if you see this data are coming like uh, all these data are coming with error values okay this is very important right so let me do the second fit so this is the uh, two peaks are already there so let me refine yeah so this is done so uh, this is refine this is done you can see how beautiful this is fitting the data you can, don't have to go to the origin right this is extremely powerful software so let me fit all the picks first so refine so this is refine then final one this is refine then this is refine so you can see that all the picks are extremely fitted well right so if you want to zoom it so you know it is already zoomed so no need to do that so this is the uh, let me yeah so you can do as you like right so now let me see the report first okay so if you see the report here yes so you can see that all two theta is there so uh, what you can do here you can directly plot the size strength plot okay you got all the information you see instead of doing all this in origin you can get directly all the information you can see uh, here centroid height then fwhm bread this is the crystallite size so you have the option to plot your size and strain right so what you can do you can direct you can see uh, if you do that so size strain plot will be there you can see that uh, size is around uh, 28 nanometer or 286 angstrom you can put size and strain both 
size 10 only 0.36 you know it is all up to you okay so you can copy this data and uh, you can see y axis is um, beta cos theta x axis is sin theta so it's up to you how you basically analyze your data right so the most important thing is you your data must be of high quality okay and uh, if you want uh, okay let me close it so all these parameters are there okay so using these are called profile fitting parameters so using all the information you can do the analysis uh, right and um, uh, you can calculate the crystallite size and strain the most important thing is uh, this fwhms these are essential then two theta positions so let me conclude this video so in the part two of this video i am going to show you how to do the page matching so because this is the xrd data we got so in the second part i will show you how to search for the page means from the international crystallographic database uh, how to do the page matching so thank you and if you have any question you can put it in the chat box and i would be happy to um, answer to that so um, thank you